My wife brought me here to tell me something. I have no idea what it is. And I'm just waiting to find out. And this is that man's wife, Nancy. She brought him here today because she's about to tell him that she has been having an affair. And she's been having an affair with his very best friend and business partner, Steve. Let's find out what's going to happen. Want to come inside? My guests are revealing secrets to their loved ones. Now, we met Nancy, and uh, uh, Nancy has been married to Rick for three years. Uh, for three years. Uh, Nancy uh, and Rick both admit that their marriage has not been going well. Rick admits to having a drinking problem. Um, and so Nancy, in the last few weeks, months, has been having an affair. Um, she has told Rick this. Rick, on one hand, says, I can understand. And yet, on the other hand, as any normal human being would be, is, is upset, hurt. Um, let's meet who this fella is, um, and then you guys can take it from there. The person that uh, you are having an affair with, let's bring him out. know him yeah uh, uh, this is Steve yeah and what is your relationship with Steve is my best friend <laughs> Steve what's going on well Rick's always drinking he's fighting with her continuously He's really not good for her. He can't give her a staple environment. He drinks I can give her love. Time. Well, then again, that's not <laughs> this, this, with this world anyway, so... Uh... If he's your best friend, Steve, and let's assume just for the point of this conversation that what you're saying is true, that he admits he's having a drinking problem, the marriage is on the rocks, um, she could do better. Let's assume that you're right. I'm not saying you are, but let's just for this question. Wouldn't you then say to your best friend, um, I'm not going to be a party, though, to, I'm not going to have an affair with my best friend's wife. <clears throat> you know, I may advise that it's best that she go elsewhere. It's best that he let her go. There are lots of ways you can be a good best friend without <laughs> being involved. That's good. Shut up. Can I say something for a second? All right, first of all, I've been diagnosed with hepatitis C, all right, which my liver is deteriorating because of my drinking, right? And it's, it's irreversible. Obviously, now I know why he buys me the friggin' to drink. Tell him why you buy him the stuff. He, the other, the other, I mean, I she'll tell him, him don't buy him. Get some oh, place sale. You two talk. You, you I say. mean, she tells you don't buy me something, and you buy me a friggin' bottle of tequila? Tell him Friggin' fit. You want me to die? Fine. Tell you know, him why. why don't you, why don't you step be. outside and kill me? Or at least try it like a man instead of like hiding, you know, behind my. Tell him how he begs you to buy him alcohol, even though I say don't buy him any it's alcohol. True. It's the truth. He begs him. Give me, a, a give me money for this. Give me this for this. Nick, a dollar and a nickel this. here and a dollar and a nickel there. And we tried to, to get him to stop. Anyway. We stood by him. I'm, gonna have, I'm not going to lie. Rick, you be know? quiet a second, okay? We give him, okay, everything we can. Why he says he's going to stop drinking. Fine. No, I, I, I'll up. leave. You know, I'll leave. I'll, 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 That's what you ever say. I'll leave. I'll leave. Why don't you better yourself? Okay, he's better for you than I am because you don't drink. That's not the point, okay? I love him because he helps me, but I love you because you're my husband. I've been with you a long time, and I have a genuine care and concern for you, and you have no respect for nothing. No respect for me, no respect for yourself, no respect for anybody. Anybody who does for you, you just totally go, and you 
just spit all over him. She's How right. can you care about yourself? Shut up. You don't care about I said her. she was right. Quit telling me. I didn't me say sure. you were right about nothing. So we can bring this to an end now. Do you want to go back to him? Do you want to go back to your husband? Well, I love my husband, but I cannot live like that, and he needs to change. Are you saying that unless he changes, are you going to seek a divorce? <sighs> well, not immediately, and the reason is because... Are you going to keep seeing Steve in the meantime? Steve and I have... Shouldn't you be asking me if I'm going to seek the divorce? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fair question. Good point. <laughs> Are you? Are you? No. Good question. That's a fair no, question. No, no, I'm not. You see? You know what? Come so on. you set me up to ask the question and everything, no? First of all, Daddy When you got me down, down, you ought to kill me. Don't, just don't let me back up. <laughs> do, you okay. do you know how much it costs? <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Well, uh, how many of you got divorced? Less right? than what you're spending on your alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You want to stay in it. You don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to continue to see Steve. Is that right? Or well, you're not? Over my dead body. <laughs> I okay. Coming up next. Is that it? So you, so you are not going to... You're seeking a divorce unless she stops seeing him. Um, well, I'll, I'll put it this way. She stopped seeing me. She, she wants to say it's over, it's over, that's fine. That's fine. The relationship... He, he hurts her. I will literally hurt him. Hey. The relationship between Steve and I are, is more or less of a support. It's not like you may believe, you know, that we're sleeping together every day. No. See, I do have respect for my, my marriage vows, okay? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, oh. Do I not? Yes. Well, tell these people, please. You do. And oh, well, that, well, that was going to come back. Steve, are you going to still see her? In, in a romantic way, not to it be friends. It all depends on what she's going to do about him. If she's going to stay with him, you know why. You know what she says to me, stand, take and keep seeing her while she's still with him. In other words, she has to make a choice. Right, she needs to make a choice. If you had to make a choice right now, what choice would you make? Understand that the men can make their own decisions. What choice it's are you no going to make? It's no offense against anybody, but I think I'd be better off to get myself together because I've been through so much. Coming up next, this woman is going to reveal to her boyfriend that she works at night as an adult escort. Okay, that's just the beginning. Find out what else she's been lying about when we come back. Stay with us. I guess are revealing to their loved ones a deep secret that they have been keeping. Uh, what happened during the break before I get to my next guest? Uh, I, I lost my temper. You lost your temper. Well, well which is sort of or reasonable, but not, story. not, not, I shouldn't have done it. First of all, I, I mean, he, he is, he's a good man. He's got a stable environment. He, he would be good for her, except he's a munchkin. What kind of... <laughs> That's all right. You can, call you me can understand too, how he feels. He's, you're messing around with his wife. I can understand that, but if he had to trade the right first place, she wouldn't be messing around with me, now would she? <laughs> well, everybody is putting me in my place today. Okay. Uh, we'll move on now to our next story. Now I'd like to meet Christmas. <laughs>